Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on a one horse open sledge. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on a one horse open sledge. Crashing through the snow on a one horse open sledge. We are coming down to celebrate Christmas Day. Yay! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride on a one horse up in sledge. Hello everyone, a very refreshed morning to all. How are you? Fine? Great. So, you might have understood, isn't it? A cat. A beautiful Christmas tree here. Wow! I have a Santa. Here comes a snowman. So what is in the air? Tell me class. It's Christmas time. Yes. The bells are jingling. Hena? Jingle bell, jingle bell. This is the only rhyme which we keep on singing. Okay, I'll just take off this cap once. I'll tell you what we have to do with it. Okay? So now, class, you all must have understood what are we going to do today? Yes. So class, today is 11th December 2020. Exams over. Isn't it? Now it's time that celebration is coming. Christmas is coming. Yes. And what all things we do on this day? Come on. Tell me fast. We eat hot chocolate cakes, plum cakes. Then we celebrate so merrily. People go to church and they worship. Worship to karte hai We go to church. Now we do all these things. Isn't it? What we do? We go to church and we do all the prayers and enjoy. But can you tell me? What is the reason we celebrate Christmas? Can you tell me that? Yes, anyone? So, class, there is a reason behind each and every celebration. Isn't it? Why we celebrate Diwali? You all know. Why we celebrate the Shara? You people know. Why we celebrate Janamashtami? You all know. Isn't it? So, for celebrating each and every festival, we have a reason behind. Now, can anyone tell me why everyone celebrates Christmas? What is the reason behind the celebration of Christmas? Why? It's not only about Santa. No. It's not only about your Christmas tree. No, not at all. And it's not only about snowman. There is something really big about it. Can anyone tell me what is that? Just think of once. You remember? We have done when we were learning about different festivals. Yes, it's about the birth of Lord Jesus. So class, as you all know, Janamashtami, we celebrate as the birth of Lord Krishna. Christmas is celebrated as in the remembrance of birth of Lord Jesus. Okay? And when we celebrate it, what is the date? Can you tell me? 25th December. Yes. We celebrate Christmas on 25th December. So on in, uh, every year, every year on 25th December, we celebrate Christmas. But as we all know, it is uh, celebrated as the birth of Lord Jesus. Can anyone tell me what is his father's name? What is his mother's name? And how? What happened? What all things? Kya kya hua aisa? And where he was born? Can anyone tell me the story behind his birth? Jesse Krishna Jinga Hamisapopata, 
कि वो एक जेल में पैदा हुए थे कारावास में है ना कंस ने उनकी मम्मी पापा को लॉकअप में डाल दिया था वी ऑल नो दैट सो देर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी बिहाइंड क्रिसमस आई टेल एक्चुअली देर वॉज अ गर्ल हुम वॉज मैन एंड शी वॉज लिविंग इन अ विलेज शी वॉज वेरी वेरी साउंड गर्ल बहुत ही शान एंड वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सो वॉट हैपन वन डे शी वॉज स्लीपिंग एट होम वो वहां सो रही थी अपने घर पे एंड वॉट हैपन देर केम अ फेरी यू ऑल नो वॉट इज अ फेरी फेरी एंजल सो एक फेरी एंजल आई एंड वॉट शी से ओ मैरी ओ मैरी प्लीज वेक अप वेक अप एंड वो क्या हुआ जो मैरी थी वो एकदम से डर गई lived a young woman named Mary. Mary did her chores, was kind to others, and loved God very much. She was going to marry Joseph, who was a carpenter. One day, while Mary was at home cleaning her room, an angel suddenly appeared. Before Mary could say anything, the angel told Mary that she was going to be blessed by God and that God was with her. Mary was surprised. She was trying not to be afraid, but she had never seen an angel before. After all, Mary was just a regular lady like you or I. Why was this angel visiting her? What did the angel want? The angel quickly tried to reassure Mary. Do not be afraid, the angel said. God is happy with you and wants to bless you. You will have a baby boy and you must name him Jesus. Mary was confused. She was not yet married to Joseph, so how could she have a baby? The angel thought that this might concern Mary, so he said, I will perform a miracle for you. and because of this your baby will be called the son of god mary couldn't believe what she was hearing she didn't know what to say she realized that she was shaking and knelt down when she was finally able to speak she said i believe in god 
and I hope everything you have said will come true. Then the angel disappeared, and Mary was waiting to tell Joseph the wonderful news. Soon after, Joseph found out that Mary was going to have a baby. Joseph was confused by this. But an angel came to him in a dream and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child Mary is going to have is God's son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he remembered what the angel had said. He knew that everything was okay, and he wasn't worried anymore. In those days, it was decided that they should count everyone that lived in a particular area of the world. So, Joseph had to take Mary to his town of Bethlehem to register. Bethlehem was far away and they didn't have cars back then, so it would take Mary and Joseph a long time to get to Bethlehem. Joseph finally found a small donkey and put Mary on the donkey since there was only place for one. This was very tiring for Mary because she was soon going to have a baby. When they reached the town, all the hotels were full and there was nowhere that they could stay. Finally, a man felt bad for them and said, I have a place you can stay. It's not a hotel, but it's warm and you will be safe for the night. When Mary and Joseph came to the place, they saw that it was a small barn where animals were kept. There were donkeys, cows and some hens laying around. Mary and Joseph were thankful that they at least had a place to lie down. It was warm and there was plenty of straw to lay on. While Joseph and Mary prepared for the birth of baby Jesus, news had spread that the Son of God was to be born in a small stable. Shepherds heard the news and came with their sheep to see the baby. Kings travelled from faraway lands carrying gifts of perfumes, gold, silver and blankets for the baby. That night, an exciting, wonderful thing happened. Mary and Joseph had a baby. But this wasn't just any baby, he was baby Jesus. The creator of the whole world, the King of Kings, and the one who would save the world. The little baby boy fell asleep in Mary's arms. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger on some clean straw. While the kings and shepherds watched, Mary and Joseph soon fell asleep. They were so glad to have this special baby join their family. So class, enjoyed the story, isn't it? And now you are going to tell me, where was the Jesus Christ born? He was born in a stable, yes, to us the world the house of a horse. Jo horse ka house tha, vaha pe born hue. Isn't it? You found that? To kya hua when they were on the way? To suddenly, kuch king ne announcement ki because of which they were not able to reach to the hospital. And Mary gave the birth to the Jesus Christ in a stable. Or jab aapne dekha, when the God was born, so many king men, fairies, they came and they blessed the God. Clear? So you understand? Have you understood why we celebrate 25th December? It is celebrated to remember the birth of Lord Jesus. Clear? And this is why Christmas is celebrated. Now, 
as we celebrate lot of festivals we do so many things so to celebrate christmas what we all do what all things we do we decorate christmas tree yes so it is not only about christmas tree beta the main story is birth of lord jesus jab lord jesus paida hue everywhere it was so everyone was so happy ki dekho bhagwan aa gaye hain now they will save him survive the savior is here unko sabko bachane aa gaye hain jo bure log the unka sabki tishu tishu karte koi aa gaya hai so this is what the reason behind celebrating christmas and when we celebrate it on every 25th december clear now from where this snowman is here you all know that christmas uh, is in the month of december and in december it is very cold weather kuch jagah pe snow fall bhi hota hai isn't it so during the christmas when we all have holidays what small children do they collect the snow a lot of snow 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 and they make beautiful snowmans so this is why snowman is associated with christmas then we have christmas tree dekho kitne beautifully it is like decorating your house it is one way of decoration as on diwali we do with candles diyas lights isn't it so on christmas we use christmas tree. clear and the santa our own beautiful santa so what he comes with lot of gifts for kids to so santa ko kya hai chote bachche bahut pasand hai like you even i am a small kid christmas pe main chote bachche ban jati okay so what happens santa comes and give gifts to lot of kids clear now how can you become a santa see wearing this cap is not only about enjoying the festival abhi cap pehenne ke baad kya hota hai we call it christmas cap we call it santa cap because santa is wearing something like this to ab ye cap pehen ke hum kya ban gaye like santa claus isn't it to so what santa is doing actually spreading lot of happiness again each and every festival is giving only one message spread happiness khushiyan baanto clear how can you do that just think see who is near by you dekho beta winter season hai everyone feel cold aapke jo purane chote clothes hain winter clothes hain which are not of your size you are not using them you can go and give those to small children aap unko jaake chote bachcho ko do so that they can feel and when they will wear they will feel warm they will feel loved this is how you can become a santa and spread happiness so wearing this cap is really a very big responsibility is that clear so it's not easy to wear this cap agar aap ye cap pehen rahe ho if you want to be a santa you should do things like santa santa is distributing so many gifts isn't it sledge pe jaate hain so you can now what is the sledge your car papa ki car mein baitho unke sath bike pe scooter pe sit and go and just distribute the things which are not of your use shayad ho kisi aur ke use ki ho beta clear so this is what the story behind christmas and the message which i want to convey to you for this christmas festival bye for now merry